A renewable called biomass generates less than 2%. Harvesting it, moving it, storing it, making sure it produces a consistent amount of energy, those have been ongoing challenges for scientists looking to use biomass. But the biomass industry is hoping to change that. There's so many non-utilized waste streams in this world. We have food waste, we have transportation waste. There are endless amounts of byproducts that are currently not utilized. What if you could power your home and live completely off the grid by just using your own trash? Each year, over one billion tons of solid waste is produced globally. That's expected to double by 2025. And of the 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic produced worldwide, only 9% is recycled. But to this German startup, our trash is their treasure. The initial vision that we had was to build a power plant that is truly mobile, that it can convert all the waste and turn it into clean energy right on site. N-Trade's power plants can fit entirely inside a 20-foot shipping container and mainly run on biomass. Biomass is a renewable organic resource that comes from plants and animals and can be turned into fuel. Ulig and his team work to identify local waste streams. Anything from manure to discarded lumber to yard trimmings and even peanut shells can do the trick. We crush it, we dry it, and then we pelletize it. These biomass pellets are what N-Trade's power units run on. The company has also developed the technology to use non-organic waste as fuel. By taking plastic that would otherwise end up in landfills and combining it with other green waste, they claim their units can produce enough electricity to power homes, neighborhoods, and factories. And then we put it into our reactor, and it only stays there for a few seconds before it totally converts into a natural gas replacement. It's a process called gasification. When plastic goes into a small reactor, it burns at extremely high temperatures, breaking down its polluting particles. The result? A hot gas that is then used to create electricity. N-Trade sees potential in countries dealing with large amounts of plastic pollution. But figuring out the right mixture of plastic and biomass can be complicated and is still being tested. The company wants to take their mobile power units one step further. Their newest unit is a mini power plant about the size of a fridge. We were always thinking of this power unit you can bring to the middle of nowhere, plug it in, use all the waste you find around it, pelletize it, and you have a complete power supply on site. And I can see many people in farmhouses all over the world uh, just putting this next to their kitchen and generating their own power from the waste that they're currently throwing away. But are these mini units as easy to use as they seem? If we look at the bags of pellets that we produce here, we need about two to three bags per day. So you can actually fill it by hand in the morning, have a complete power supply around the clock. That's a lot of pellets. N-Trade's off-the-grid vision is still in its early phases. Questions like how much energy it would take for someone to actually make these pellets at home still remain. The company envisions communities combining their green waste and making their own biomass fuel. And they're also working to make these things affordable. The 50 kilowatt unit that you find in a big container was initially about five million to build. We have brought this down to a retail price of $250,000. As the production numbers go up, we think we can offer this for the price of a small car. N-Trade hopes that mini power plants like these could change the way cities and towns source their electricity, making them self-sustaining, and in some cases, cleaner. You're gonna have communities processing their own waste using this electricity and it's totally going to revolutionize the way we're going to live.